One of my most creative moments was in college, waking up at sunrise. My inspiration is, you know, getting outside and, and kind of seeing the, the activity around me, Nature being able to enjoy. Is one of the main things uh, the I'm more creative in the morning than late in the day. I'm here some water and I'm walking there and just thinking. It's really great to be able to get out and really just getting together with uh, my business partners and I and start some on a whiteboard. Nature at, 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 its, uh, at its best, really, in Richmond. Thank you all so much for being here tonight. I'm, uh, I'm just really grateful that you made the time to come out and hear what this uh, amazing and impressive group of um, people is here to share with us on intellectual property and, and a lot of what you might need to be considering on the front end of your business development. My name is Samantha Marquez, and I just want to really take you through my journey in the world of science and what I've learned throughout this process. I do a lot of work at universities, and it's always strange to see, you know, a 16-year-old girl working in a lab. So you know how they say the journey is more important than the destination? It's kind of like the question is more important than the answer. Questions lead to trying to find out the answer to the questions, and that's the journey. It's clear that Richmond is not accepting who it is today. It's the same thing that provides success for individuals, for businesses, and that is that today is not good enough, I want to move forward. Become more accepting of others ultimately will, um, you know, I think, I think drive success throughout a community. here tonight to the Virginia Historical Society. Literally, it's where our history meets our future. All you have to do is put some plants on it. Got to jump over the line. Virginia Historical Society, they've got food trucks. Not as good as a raven. It's a new day in RVA. So welcome to Revolution, Innovation, and Change in Richmond. How can we use the past to inform the future? What story should we be telling ourselves about tomorrow? Tonight is really about remapping. What does the history of place and architecture and built structure inform us about Richmond and what will we do differently? We'll be presenting three tours and videos. We're gonna look at how we've told our story about ourselves. Uh, over the last 50 or 70 years. And then we're going to storyboard a new tourism video for a future creative, innovative Richmond. And then we're going to crowdsource that storyboard uh, through social media and invite people to submit one and two minute YouTube videos. On behalf of the governor, I want to thank everybody here in this audience today and of course our great panelists for everything you do uh, to help create jobs, create opportunity right here in Virginia. When we spoke last year at IE, Joey left the crowd with the challenge that what we're doing is bringing the city of Richmond together through a disgusting process of biodiesel. There's a lot of new awesome concepts and new startups around here in the city. You have the old Richmond, and then you have a lot of this new creativity, creative innovation, and these all are transcending each other. And it's events like this, it's RVA, it's IE, it's the trilogy. These are all things that can help put innovation and Virginia together in people's minds.